So today I'm talking about a Chevy with the P0455 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Chevy P0455 code? Was well, an evaporative emission system leak detected. And what does this mean? Well, modern vehicles have what's called an EVAP system. It takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back into the engine to get burnt off. And the onboard computer seen a problem with this. So it's gonna have to be troubleshooted to know why and some possible causes. Well, it could be a bad gas cap, could be an EVAP leak, could be a purge valve, could be a vent valve, could be the charcoal canister, could be in the wiring and possibly the fuel tank pressure sensor. So the basics of what's going on inside the EVAP system is that you're going to have a hose that leaves from the gas tank and goes over to what's called a purge canister or a charcoal canister. And this does a few things. It basically holds the gas vapors when the engine's not running. And then a hose is going to leave the canister and it's going to go up to the top of the engine to what's called a purge valve solenoid. And the purge valve solenoid basically just opens when the engine's running so the gas vapors go in and get burnt off. And then it closes when the engine's not running so they don't escape. Down by the canister is also what's going to be called a vent valve solenoid. And this is basically used by the onboard computer to test the whole system so the computer will send out a signal to open at certain times and close at certain times to test the whole system and be sure everything's working correctly and the way the computer gets its information is, is from what's called a fuel tank pressure sensor and this basically reports back to the onboard computer what's going on inside of the whole system and one thing to keep in mind with this whole system is that it needs to be sealed it can't be any leaks or else it could cause problems and this includes the gas cap or the filler neck and so for this reason the first thing to go and check is going to be the gas cap be sure that it looks like it's good that's not broken or damaged or anything like this because if it is damaged and not sealing correctly it, it can cause a leak and this includes the shivvies with no gas cap basically just go and examine it and be sure like it's closing all the way and doesn't look like it's stuck open or anything like that because if there's any leaks inside the system then it won't be able to work properly and so if the gas cap looks good the next thing to go and check is going to be the purge valve solenoid and this will be located up on top of the engine somewhere for example here's a 2012 Chevy Silverado and it's located right up on top of the engine behind the alternator here's another example of a 2016 Chevy Cruze 1.4 liter and it's located it up behind the engine by the firewall it'll have two hoses going to it and a wiring harness but go and check it out be sure it's working correctly there's a different way you go about testing it i made a video on that i'll put a link down below if you want to check that out but the next thing to do is to go check out that purge valve and be sure that it's working properly that all these hoses look like they're connected good and that there's no issues going on with that and so if that all looks good but the next thing you're going to do is to locate this charcoal canister which will be located up underneath the vehicle by the gas tank somewhere and this vent valve and check it out be sure everything looks like it's good it's not damaged anything like this there's different tests that you could do on the vent valve to make sure that it's opening and closing properly but the next thing to do is to go locate and check out the charcoal canister and the vent valve and so if you got through and you checked that all out you checked out the canister the vent valve solenoid the purge valve and that all looks good then very likely there is a leak somewhere inside of one of these hoses that's going around everything and these can be kind of hard to find sometimes you can't go around and try to just examine all the hoses to see if you see anything leaking. If you took it to a mechanic, what they would do is they'd use a smoke machine and they'd feed smoke into the EVAP system and wherever the smoke came out, they would know where the leak's at and they'd be able to fix it. There's some low-cost smoke machines on like Amazon or eBay. I'll put a link down below if you need one. You can also make these up yourself. There's some YouTube videos on how you can make one of these up for like less than five or $10. But the next thing to go and do would be to go around all these hoses going around everything and try to see if there's any leaks going on. Because very likely at this point, there is a leak somewhere going on and the next thing to go and check is going to be the fuel tank pressure sensor and basically when one of these go bad there's no problem inside the system but the onboard computer thinks there is since that sensor is just sending out bad information and so if you got through and you checked everything else out then the next thing to go and check is going to be that fuel tank pressure sensor it can be located differently it can be located on the fuel pump itself for example this is a 2002 Chevy Suburban and it's located up on top of the fuel tank on the fuel pump itself and here's another example of a 2008 Chevy Cobalt and the fuel tank pressure sensor is actually located on the evap canister but the next thing to go and check is going to be that fuel tank pressure sensor and so that's basically it i just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a chevy with the p0455 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day